Hello, 3D printing friends. The mailbox had a nice surprise for me the other day. Yep, it's the Alien 3D UFO Mystery Box, the June 2019 edition. Stick around and we'll open it up and see what's inside right after this. I'm Brian, and you are watching BV3D. Hey everybody, welcome back. So here before me is the June 2019 edition of the Alien 3D UFO Mystery Box. If you're not familiar with the product, the UFO, Unidentified Filament Objects, is a monthly subscription box aimed at 3D printer owners. It gives you four generous 20 meter samples of filament every month, a 3D printing related accessory, a project to print and build, including any non-printable parts that may be required, and one lucky subscriber every month receives a Mothership Maker Coin in the box. That lucky person wins the Mothership Prize, which is usually something pretty darned awesome. And the cost for all this, 36 bucks a month, including shipping, in the USA. There's also a smaller product called the Filaments Only Box. As you might have guessed, it only contains the four 20 meter filament samples. Like the UFO, one subscriber to the Filaments Only Box is chosen to win a prize. Their prize is the full UFO box, so they'll get the extras that come with the full UFO. Now, the artwork on this month's box is summer themed. Some of you may know Robbie Mack from Twitter or from seeing him in various and sundry YouTube live stream chats. He is the man responsible for this month's box art, and it's pretty nice. We've got summery beach images, beach umbrellas, starfish, palm trees, bikini, and speedo-clad aliens. You can't unsee that. But one of the things Robbie Mack likes to do is hide Godzillas in his works. So if you have this box, I have a mission for you. Locate the Godzilla somewhere in the box art. When you find Godzilla, leave a comment and let me know. I'm curious to see how many of you will find him. All right, let's get on to the business of opening the box and seeing what's inside. All right, here we go. We've got our trifold. We got the UFO Sunified Edition of the Unidentified Filament Objects. Materials contained within may cause sunburn, blistering, peeling skin, unexpected sand, and unexpected crevices, drinking of salt water, jellyfish stings, and crabby pinches. You have been warned. Inside the trifold, we have information about our filaments that are included in the UFO box and their print temperatures. We've got the accessory for the month, which looks like a nice tool set. We'll take a look at that a little more in depth in a minute. We've got our project parts, small acrylic sheets. I don't think my printer will fit in this enclosure, but we'll see the back for details. So I mentioned the mothership. Uh, this month's mothership prize is two rolls of probed green PETG. So that's cool. We have a nice thank you from Josh, 12th UFO. As I write this, one year ago this month, I started teasing on Twitter that the UFO invasion is coming. I had an idea, didn't know if it would go anywhere, but I was gonna try. In these short 12 months, I've grown from a nobody that no one heard of into a company that at least some people know about now. In the last 12 months, I've done charities, tried to contribute to the community, somehow managed to get people to help me with a 12 foot tall community print and expanded my business into more than just UFOs. Now my own line of filament, Alien 3D branded printers, became a reseller of great brands, and most of all, was welcomed as a family member into the 3D printing community. It's been an amazing ride, and I can't wait to see what the next 12 months brings. Hope you all continue to stick by me, even after the months where I get a little lost and behind. I'm really, really trying to get ahead on everything. You're all so amazing. Thank you so much for your continued support. 3D print the world. Josh, Alien 3D. Awesome. Well, Josh, you're welcome. It's been a fun ride. I've been with you since the beginning on this one. So here's our bonus project. So sorry I couldn't fit a full 3D printer enclosure acrylic panes into the UFO as much as I would have loved to do so. Instead, since it's summer, I've come up with a seedling starter greenhouse. Gardening probably isn't everyone's forte, but it's one place that practical prints can be used. Print out the planter frames for the acrylic, toss in some dirt and seeds, and Watch your harvest grow. Links to the files at alien3d.us slash UFO 012. Well, awesome, Josh. This is cool. Well, let's, uh, let's actually get into the box and look at the filament. So let's see what we got here. We've got the Alien 3D probed green PETG. That is nice. I like that. I'm just going to scoot these over a little bit so we can get in. We have some Snow Labs PLA Plus Alchemist Gold Silk. Okay, I like the silk metallics. That's going to look nice, I'm sure. Some Amazon Basics ABS Blue. Okay, awesome. 
And we have some Filament 1 Pro Select Turquoise Green PLA. That's cool. So let's see what else we got. We've got the toolkit. That's actually in there pretty well. Let's get that opened up and see what we got. I'm going to set the box further aside. There's a lot of stuff in here. There we go. We've got our putty knife if you need to scrape a print off a bed. Some needle nose pliers. Some diagonal cutters. A wrench, presumably for removing nozzles. Phillips head screwdriver. Some super nice pointy tweezers. I like tweezers for prints. Some little tiny drill bits for cleaning out stubborn nozzle clogs. And a nice set of Allen wrenches. Straight from China. Awesome. I'll set that there. Got a Snow Labs sticker. Got an Ashcan Comics Publications sticker. Got three Lemonheads candies. My kid will like those. And here are the uh, acrylic panes for the project. We'll peel that blue plastic off of them and they are clear underneath. Well, that's it. That's all that's in the box. I'm going to pack this stuff back up. Put that back in there. Get the tools back in. Lemon heads. And the trifold. Awesome. Well, another great alien 3D UFO mystery box. Now, I know my kiddo has been wanting to try to sprout some lychee seeds to see if he can get a lychee tree to grow, so the project will be perfect for that. Now, interestingly, this is the first time that the UFO box has included an ABS filament sample. Now, recently, I printed with ABS for the first time using Ziltex ABS, and that printed great. So I'm curious to try printing with this Amazon Basics ABS. Now, the other filaments are PLA and PETG, which are my usual go-to filaments for pretty much everything I print. I'm looking forward to printing with that probed green PETG from IC3D. That's got a nice transparent look to it. Now, I've already got most of the tools that were part of the accessory this month, but it never hurts to have spare Allen wrenches or tweezers laying around, because I'm always misplacing those things. And by the way, tweezers are super handy for getting the plastic boogers off the nozzle right when a print starts. Now, next month is the anniversary box, so that should be super interesting. If you don't already get the box, this might be a good time to either order a single month or get a subscription. And if you want to subscribe, I've got a referral code in the description to get you $5 off the first month of your full UFO box subscription. Well, I think that about covers it, and I also think we're at the end of the video. Thanks for making it all the way to the end, and a huge thanks to those of you who subscribe, like, share, and comment on these videos. I really appreciate you. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. But either way, leave your thoughts in the comments. If you like the content I'm producing and want to support the channel, check out the support links in the description. You can buy me a coffee, leave a little something in the PayPal tip jar, or use the affiliate links down there when you're shopping online. Using them doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does kick back a little bit to the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. It's free, and that helps the channel grow. Well, now that I've got some nice filament samples, I'm going to go print something cool. You do the same, and I'll see you next time.